Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I just had a little impromptu thought to come live with you today. And uh, number one, I wanted to check out my new light. <laughs> uh, it's not as bright as the other spotlight that goes like this, ah, but then it blinds me. Anyways, number two is um, a lot of my clients are just, I mean, we've got a plan going for them already for the year, what they're going to launch, what they're going to sell, what um, events they're going to run, uh, what they're going to speak on, how to get, uh, and then how to do some of the marketing, like what marketing they're really going to do. And I was just on a mastermind call with another group that I belong to, the Evolutionary Business Council, and uh, some people gave me some good insight that I've been kind of feeling too, that times have changed with our marketing. Times have changed, people. The, the, the ways of doing things in a mass approach is really not working for most people anymore, unless you already have a following of like, 25 or 50,000 people on your email list or on social media, unless you already have that big of a following. To get there is not an easy task these days. And it's not about um, just uh, sending an email anymore. Like, I don't know if you've looked at your statistics on your email marketing and see how many opens you get and how many click throughs and uh, all that, but uh, most people are reporting declines. Now, Keep in mind that there's still the top 1% of marketers online that are doing phenomenal things in these areas. But be careful uh, following what they're saying because they are the not the norm. They're not the norm, and just because they're doing it doesn't mean it's gonna happen for you. I hate to be the reality buster, but um, we've got to get more guerrilla marketing, we've got to get more personal, and we've got to go old school, okay, for most of us. And I'm still in this. I mean, I'm working on my 17th year in business, okay? Thank God, thank God that I come from the offline marketing world. I come from the advertising world. I know about direct mail. I know about uh, radio, print, uh, newsletters, print newsletters, you guys. Um, I know about a lot of different offline marketing as well as the online marketing that I've learned over the course of the last 16 years. Okay, so, but every single year there's shifts. There's shifts in the market, there's new technologies, uh, there's things that make it easier and more automated, yes, and I'm all about automation. Trust me, I want everything to be automated. If I could just click a button and talk to everybody and do it in a personal way, I would, because I would move on to my next project and have more freedom in my life, but that's not working, okay, for even for me, okay? So I just wanna urge you to be careful who you're listening to, who you're comparing to. If you have under 3,000 people on your email list and you're watching someone who has 50,000 people on their email list and they're telling you to do X, Y, Z, I would caution you to follow that process because you're not apples to apples. You're not in the same boat as them. Okay, so we have to do things differently as an entrepreneur who's in the growing stages of your business. Now, we're always growing, right? So we're always evolving. And I think it's really important to make sure that you are tweaking your marketing along as you go. So we have to evaluate what happened last year, what we're gonna do this year, and how we're gonna do it differently. Honestly, I don't wanna change my business models. I don't wanna change from doing three live events a year or whatever for three days to more virtual events. That's more time consuming for me, but that's what people want, and that's so that's what I'm doing, right? And thanks, Nancy. Speak the truth, my friend. Love it. Yes, thanks for showing up, Gary, Nancy. I appreciate it because you guys know you're you're a peer, right? And you guys know you have big followings, and uh, we can't always keep doing the same thing. And otherwise, you're gonna get the same results or worse, right? So it's time to pull up our big girl panties or boy panties and make change. I know it's not comfortable for a lot of you to do do things differently or um, now that you've gotten things automated to go back to some manual labor marketing, right? That sounds daunting, right? But it is what works. It's the um, old school personal touch. Now there's still ways where you can do it a little bit faster and more organized and, and uh, potentially still have 
um, a lot of some systems in place around that, okay? But if just, I just want you to be careful. I, I've talked with, a, geez, a couple dozen people just in the last week alone uh, that are entrepreneurs trying to grow their business and they're listening to some of these people who, God help, I mean, God love them because they're doing really good in their business, but they're imparting the same strategies that they're using onto their followers. And they're saying, you can do this too. And it is BS, my friend. It is not reality. Please be careful investing in programs where they teach you to be, to position yourself like that and to do all this automation when you don't have a following yet. You, it's probably not gonna work for you. Then six months or a year from now, where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? You're gonna be in less, you're gonna be in more debt and more trouble because you don't have enough paying clients at that point. Or do everything group. They're say, they say things like, well, do everything in a group and don't give yourself any access and don't do any one-on-one. -on -one. You really wanna make a lot of money? One-on-one -on -one is where the money is, right? Or a higher end program. So be careful listening to that as well. If you are still trying to make your money every month, uh, make the money that you need to pay your bills and not stress about money, then there's three or four different business models that will do that for you. But if you're paying attention to the wrong people telling you the wrong things, then you're not going to see the the financial return on that. And I am. I'm like the practical reality check girl here, and because I've been doing this for so long, I've built a very good, consistent revenue generating business myself, doing some of the online stuff and automated stuff, but also doing a lot of the offline and guerrilla marketing, old school type tactics. In fact, I'll tell you a secret. And I, I said this, I think, last year, and it didn't happen. And I'm just kicking myself because I should have made it happen. But I'm hiring someone specifically to get this done this year because I know that having a printed newsletter in the mail is going to be probably more effective than sending out a weekly newsletter in email. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous, and it's way more expensive, and it's way more time consuming, but you got to do what you got to do. Right, so you just gotta put it into your budget. You gotta realize you gotta do certain things. You've gotta get out the stamps, the actual stamps, and you have to actually send postcards and note cards in the mail. Hello, this needs to be in your marketing budget this year. If you're not doing this, you're missing out on probably hundreds of potential clients, I'm telling you, okay? The other thing is your website. Do not have a sucky website. And it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money, but if your website is not really super clear on what it is you do, what you sell, and the transformation you provide, then you're not gonna see the results from your website either. You have to invest in your website. That is like the number one thing you need to be probably putting money into every single year. I tell my clients now that you wanna budget out anywhere from, if you haven't had a new website in a while, <clears throat> and a while means like a year and a half, um, every two years, because of all the new technology, you're going to probably need a new website. So therefore, why do we want to spend, especially as a, a smaller business, we definitely don't want to spend five or $10,000 on a website. That's not a smart move, right? There's a lot of templates out there that you can use to make it a lot more affordable to get a really look, good looking professional website that's functional and sales and marketing oriented. Those are the two keys. Functional, user friendly for you and for your visitor and sales and marketing oriented. If you don't know how to create sales and marketing content or what's gonna make it more user friendly and your person you're talking to to build your website doesn't give you any ideas or doesn't really question what you're doing and give you a good plan, then you're talking to the wrong web designer. Get a new web designer fast because that is going to be a waste of money, okay? Whatever they build you. Guaranteed. I've been doing website design on my, with my techie team for over six years. Of course, I've had a website since like 2005. Okay, so I've I've had like six different websites, you guys, <clears throat> and I'm actually looking at revamping mine this year too. But every two years, you're probably looking at spending two two to three thousand dollars. Okay, you just got to budget it in. The cost of doing business. If you're not willing to do this, then you need to go get a job. I'm sorry, I'm like fed up with all the excuses and book Katrina and blah, blah, blah. You can always make more money. You are an entrepreneur. If you're not 
if you're not in the mindset that you can always make more money, there's always more clients to get, there's always more people to serve, there's always more um, revenue to bring in, there's always another program you can create or launch, then you need to go get a job because you, you have to change your mindset around that. It, there's only, I mean, you don't have a cap. When we're in a job or we're in a place where we're, we go to work, we clock in, we come out, you have a cap. You have a cap on your salary typically. Occasionally you'll get a bonus or a raise or whatever, but there's a cap. When you're an entrepreneur, there's no cap, okay? Uh, now, does that mean you're gonna go from zero to a million in a year? <laughs> I doubt it highly. Okay, so uh, if you, does it mean you're gonna go from zero to 100,000 in the first year? Probably not either. It's possible, especially if you're selling a higher end coaching program or something. Yes, for ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, you only need to make five or ten sales to make a hundred thousand dollars. If you're not selling something like that, how are you going to get there, right? Fast, and how are you going to get there with bigger money? So, there's so many things to talk about in regards to really getting your business into a smooth running money making machine on a consistent basis. Okay, but you you have to follow and listen to the right people and not only just listen to free stuff. Like, uh, yes, you can listen to my free stuff and I have all kinds of free audios and I have some low price programs and products and things and occasionally I'll do a call here or there. You gotta get some coaching, you guys. And whether it's me or somebody else, you've got to get one-on-one -on -one coaching, period, from an experienced business coach still in the trenches doing what you need to do and showing you how. If you have a group program where you're just getting general ideas, that's not gonna help you that fast, okay? It, unless you're like the super motivator and you'll just dive into everything and you'll strategize, but that takes a lot of time. If you want the fast track to making money, you need a coach. You need a one-on-one -on -one coach or some sort of one-on-one -on -one with a group program, plain and simple. <laughs> and I'm like totally fired up today, I don't know why. <laughs> but I just wanna see you succeed and have a better year. And if you don't start getting on the right track right now in January, then months will fly by and you won't have made your money goals and then you're gonna have to play catch up and you're probably not gonna end up with the, at the end of the year where you really wanted to be. So you've gotta start now. You can't, if you're in a program, this is something else. Like so I've been talking to, like I said, a couple dozen people this last week alone because I've had a lot of different calls on my calendar. And um, uh, many people are like, well, I'm already in this program and I'm in that program and I'm doing this and I'm doing, I can't invest with you right now or I can't do your coaching, maybe later. Okay, well, but we've already had a discussion that you're not getting this, you're not, you're not implementing that, you don't even know what you're selling, you're not sure about all your marketing tactics, what kind of program are you in? Because if you need to make money, you're in the wrong program. Or you need to put that program on hold and come do the practical, tactical stuff in order to increase your revenues. Hello, don't just do a program because you're in a program because you invested in a program. I'm sorry if you invested in the wrong thing at the wrong time or out of order of importance, but you need to shift your mindset around that. Shift your mindset. It's not a waste of money. Just go back and do it later when you're ready. If it's something like uh, an advanced strategy, okay? A lot of times these marketing, people that do marketing get to, what do I wanna say? It's like sometimes this marketing is like a real cool bright shiny object. It's like, oh, I want that. And it's something you want, right? But then it's not really the thing that's going to have you see the revenues, right? Uh, and but it doesn't matter because you want this thing. Well, then two months into it, you're still not seeing the revenues, and you're going, well, why isn't it helping me get the revenues? Well, it's not designed to give you the revenues. It's this bright shiny object thing training over here, right? So you've got to be able to differentiate when you see things like that. Ooh, is it my next step or is it a couple steps out? Should I be doing that later in the year and do this first? I mean, most entrepreneurs, all they need is sales and marketing training. Period. You need sales and marketing training to get more clients because the money that you get in from having clients and serving more clients is going to pay for all the other projects and fun ideas that you want to do throughout the year. But if you're not making consistent cash flow, then how are you going to invest in all these other fun things that you want to do? You're not. How are you going to take a vacation? You're not. How are you going to, you know, send your kids off to college or get that extra or get the new car that you want? You're not, right? So we've got to focus on consistent cash flow, people, and you've got to get the right systems in place. And 
Honestly, I know that you know a lot about what to do, but times have shifted, and if you don't have a clear set plan on what to do, what to say, what to send, how to do it, da da da, da that can be fast. We don't have five months for you to figure this out. You, I mean, do you? Do you have five months to figure out something? Do you have four months and four hundred dollars to go take a training on some random thing when I could tell you in thirty minutes what to do with it? That's just ridiculous. Why would you want to wait? Why would you want to wait that long? Okay. Now, I know that I come off really kind of blunt and in your face and kind of abrupt to some people who may not know me, but honestly, I am super passionate about this and I do it with love. I want you to be more successful and I want you to have a better life. I want you to love yourself, have love in your life. I want you to uh, experience more joy and happiness and time off and freedom and a confidence and courage to go do what you want to do. But we gotta get down to brass tacks and you gotta get realistic with your expectations, with your time, with what you need to invest, and know that there's always more money to make, people. Stop looking at your checkbook. The problem is you're looking at your checkbook. Oh, woe is me, I only have $20. Or, oh, woe is me, I only have $2,000 in here, I can't do that, I have to pay the mortgage. Well, go make more money. Go make more money, okay? All right, so. <laughs> I'm on a rant today, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, hey, Robert, Jimmy, Leslie, Jill, thank Gina. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. This is fun. Okay, Leslie, cat keeps it real, but it is always delivered with love. Thank you, Leslie. Yes, uh, I appreciate that. It's been a while since we talked, and we need to revamp. Now, if you have worked with me before in the past, or you've been to one of my events before, it's time to come back. It's time to come back, because there's more to learn. I know lots more than I did just six months ago, you guys. I'm constantly up-leveling and investing in myself to learn new strategies, new techniques, new marketing, new ways of doing it, uh, how to pull back the curtains and, and really show you what you need to do. And it is time for a refresher. It is time, the kinds of things that I do in my coaching or at my live events is the what you need to know now to get more clients and make more money, period. Okay, and it's all the nitty gritty because that's what you need. You don't need a general statement, oh, do more videos on YouTube, and then go like, I don't know how to do that. What do I do? Where do I start? What technology? Blah, blah, blah. How do I get, how to do SEO on YouTube? How do I get more subscribers on YouTube? How do I get more views on YouTube? And what does it matter how to get more combat? I mean, there's a lot to know about just YouTube, okay? That's just one of like 20 different marketing strategies. So I, you just, can't get that blanket knowledge anymore. You have to get nitty gritty with what you need to do, because what you need to do, Leslie, might be completely different than what Robert needs to do, and what Gary needs to do, and what Jill needs to do, because of your business model, your goals, your personality, and your time availability, okay? Those are like some of the biggest things I look at when I'm with a client on evaluating what you need to be doing, right? I have clients that have full-time jobs, and there's, so there's strategic things that they need to do in the two to three hours a week that they have to work on their business. And I have people that have all the time in the world, and no other spouse or kid in the household, and they can work 24-7 if they want, but you know what? I have to make sure they do self-care, and they, have, they do some online dating, or uh, they make sure they have playtime with friends and stuff like that, in addition to how to spend their time during the day in the business. So there's a lot of different aspects that play a part in really building a successful business, and I would love to be your jumpstart <laughs> business coach for you. That's why they call me a jumpstart, because I can literally look at things you're doing and tell you how to shift it like that, tell you how to change your copy on your website like that, tell you why you're not getting results from your networking events or your speaking gigs like that, okay? And I'm really good at it, and I love it, and I'm still offering one-on-one -on -one because I know you need it, okay? Now, I offer one-on-one -on -one in my mastermind too. I offer a couple calls with me if you just want a little dive in. Like some of the mentors I hire, I don't hire them for a full year anymore. Sometimes I just need to know a couple things about what they know about this thing, right? Like it's say YouTube, for example. I want to pick the brain of somebody who has 100,000 subscribers and I just want to ask them, okay, how do I change my thing 
to make it more effective like what you're doing and I need an hour or two of your time and I would pay a thousand dollars an hour for that frankly and that I would be done okay great thanks for the information bye bye I'm off right I'm off and doing that task and that's how you want to start thinking about it now I'm not that person to teach you the one little thing here or the one little thing there there's a lot of coaches out there that do that though and I'm more the one that looks at the big picture. I look at everything you're doing and want to do, and even down the road, what you think you can't do now, but you can do later, because that's your big vision. And that's what we need to start taking baby steps on now, in addition to the revenue generating tasks at hand this year. And it's going to evolve over time. And honestly, I have a three-year entrepreneur evolution plan because most people don't get anywhere in a year. Okay, hardly anywhere in a year. So if you don't have any patience or you're a millennial that wants it yesterday, um, I'm sorry, but you might want to go get a job because good luck to you, right? Uh, it, again, it's reality check here. So this is reality check, Katrina Sawa, <laughs> uh, for your business and your marketing for 2019, and we've got to change it up. Um, okay, so a couple things that... Um, Please comment on the post if you're interested in any of these and just put a keyword in there. Like, um, I'm doing an author training. And because I've been so busy with calls and stuff, I haven't gotten the actual landing or the page up where you can enroll in this author training. But it starts the second week in February. And it's a 30-day program, pretty much a fast track on what you need to do to become an author, what kind of books to write, because there's a lot of different kinds of books you can write. I'm the author of eight different books. Okay, and uh, how to get published, do it yourself or hire someone and all the things to make it more affordable. So I have an author program coming out, Jumpstart Yourself as an Author this year. Um, and it's, it's more the what you need to know how to get it done kind of thing, right? It's nitty gritty, but it's also big picture and it's deciding on the kind of book that you want. So it's perfect for beginners. It's perfect for people who think they want to write a book, they have no idea what that means. It's perfect for you, if that's you. It's also perfect for someone who's in the process of writing a book and actually wants to publish themselves or learn about Amazon and launches and KDP and all that, because I'll teach you all of that, okay? And I have a ton of online tutorials to teach you. It's only $397, you guys. It's a no-brainer to do that course, because I will save you thousands of dollars by doing it wrong <laughs> if you don't get some insight, some really one-on-one -on -one insight about it. All right, so I have an author program. Just put author in the um, comments if you're interested in that, and I'll get you more details. Um, I have a speaker training. I have one in person in Sacramento area on February 22nd. It's a one day uh, get started speaking. And this is for you if you know you should be speaking, but you're not really prepared to speak or you don't know how to get speaking gigs. You're somewhat prepared. Maybe you know your talk and you've given some talks but you're not monetizing your speaking at all. Or you wanna speak more virtually and not just in person, or you wanna speak globally and you wanna travel and speak, or you wanna get corporate talks or paid talks. This is for you if any of those apply, frankly, okay? It's a one day in person, February 22nd. There is a web page under my event page, so if you go to livebigevents.com, you can see the speaker one day there. I'm also, though, doing a speaker virtual training on Zoom, and it's probably going to be a two-month program, more like an eight-week course, where I'm going to walk you through all of that. And I've done this before years ago, and I have a home study on my website now that you can do it yourself, but nobody seems to want to do a do-it-yourself program anymore. So <laughs> I'm bringing it back live, and it's going to be even better than it was before, and I'll record it, and all the recordings will be there, and that's probably going to be around $497. I haven't put the web page together for that, but if you want to put speaker, online speaker training in the um, comments, then I can make sure you're on the list to learn more about that, and maybe even give me a discount to sign up first. Okay, and then if you do want to become an author, and you want to do it in a more of a compilation book, and you know for sure that's a good option for you already. I do have my Jumpstart Your Blank book, volume two, that's going to be coming out in 2019. And you can be a part of and write a chapter in this book. Uh, and I'm only gonna probably do 20 authors in this book. There was 26 and it was kind of thick. 
And so um, I want to keep it about 20 authors. So I already have one. <laughs> no joke, I have one, okay? So I'm uh, looking for those, and your chapter will be due around April, and we're going to publish around August this year. So uh, I facilitate everything for you. I even do calls and coaching to help you write your chapter and to help you incorporate it into your business model, what you're selling, get it on your website, all that good stuff. Um, and we do an Amazon best camp, bestseller campaign. Uh, we became uh, a, an international bestseller in three countries with that book last December. So if you're interested in that particular opportunity, put compilation book or jumpstart book in the comments. Then if you, um, I'm gonna be doing a marketing and sales online virtual training as well, because that's one of the main things people need to know. Now, I have a lot of online trainings already for that, so if you need uh, marketing training, there's the Jumpstart Your Marketing System on my website. If you're a newer business, then you might want the, the Jumpstart Your Biz in a Weekend training. I'm sorry, Jumpstart Your Biz in 90 Days training, and that's a home study right now on my website. And uh, that, either one of those is amazing training if you are a do-it-yourself learner, okay? Now, I'm not a do-it-yourself learner. I don't buy products and actually listen to audios and do the homework, and that's just not my personality. I move too fast for that. So if that's your personality, don't buy the home study, right? You need coaching, or you need a live event, or you need something to where you can have access to getting stuff done and helping, getting help through it. If you love doing stuff that way and you're really good at implementing, then fantastic. There's some great programs on my website under the products page that you can look at. But I'm gonna be doing a live program towards probably the summer, and it'll probably be more like a 90 day about marketing and sales because a lot of times people know how to market, um, but they don't know how to close the sale or they don't know how to get people to a sales conversation. So they're doing a lot of speaking, they're doing a lot of networking, uh, you might be doing a lot of social media, you're visible everywhere, but you're not talking to anybody about actually enrolling in your programs. And, or you're talking to people about enrolling in your programs, but nobody's saying yes, or a very small percentage of people are saying yes. And we have to, you have to get better at that conversation. You have to get better at that conversation, period. Even if you've taken a ton of sales training in the past, you want to continue learning more and sharpening those skills every single year. I do it. And I teach it. I do it every year. I'm constantly listening and learning about how to improve my sales conversations, my marketing copy, everything that has to do with getting clients and enrolling people, um, as well as serving, of course. But the, the goal here is getting clients. So uh, you want to really look at that and, and putting some, some money towards some training for sales and marketing. Seriously? Probably 99.9% .9 of the, those of you watching this need this, and and you're not investing because you're looking at your checkbook go, oh, I can't do it, whatever, whatever. But stop the excuses, for God's sakes. Do you want to succeed? Do you want to get somewhere? Do you want to fulfill your mission? Do you want to, you know, uh, serve thousands of people? Do you want to help a lot of people? Well, you got to learn. You need to learn what to do to do that. All right? Okay, another rant. <laughs> <laughs> Those are just some of the opportunities. The, the last event I was going to mention is my Love and Money Live event. And that is one of my favorite events. I've been doing it since 2009. If you know that you need all this money stuff and getting clients and all this stuff, Katrina, but you still have that head trash going, oh, I might not be good enough, or who am I to, to charge that, or $20,000, are you kidding, Katrina? What could I possibly offer for $20,000? You need to be at the Love and Money Live event because we talk about all that head trash. We talk about love, getting more love in your life. We talk about toxic relationships. We talk about your confidence and your self-worth as well as the nitty-gritty of where to get the clients, okay, and how to build the business more streamlined, more automated. And I, I mean, the Love and Money event is one of my favorite events because it's more all around everything you need to know to really grow a smooth running money making business machine. 
and I've been teaching it almost every year since 2009. So you really want to come to this event. I only do it once a year. I have other events, of course, in person, um, and they're all somewhat focused on obviously business and marketing, but this one is the only one that's like Love and Money Live. And we have two amazing speakers coming. Gary Barnes is coming from Denver, Colorado, and uh, Alana Pratt is coming from uh, Southern California, and she is an amazing intimacy expert. Gary is really great with productivity and uh, networking and relationships and things like that, and it's going to be off the hook. And I want you to come. And in fact, I'm going to give you a discount if you're paying attention. If you followed me for a while, you know I love it when people are paying attention. So if you're still watching and you're paying attention, you guys can come for just $97 to the Love and Money Live event, March 6, 7, and 8. It's March 6, 7, and 8. That's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the Sacramento, California area. And uh, right now on my website at loveandmoneylive.com, it's $297. There's a payment plan there too, though, if you want. You can totally pay full price if you want to. But <laughs> if you want to come, you need to come, you need to sign up uh, before the end of this week, and you can get $200 off. You just have to enter the coupon code 200, capital O, capital F, capital F. So 200 off but just all caps, all one word. So it's a coupon code that goes in the shopping cart. So I just, okay, so hopefully this is giving you some ideas. Now, getting clients means being prepared to take the order. It means being prepared on your website, in person, to, to make a sale, to actually enroll a client right on the spot. Okay, at my events, we talk about easy yes offers and how to get clients, and most of the people that come to my event actually make money because I force you, yes I do, I force you in a nice loving way and I show you how to uh, get a client with an easy yes offer. So it's super fun, it's a really cool energy and people make money in my event and, and they walk away just totally flabbergasted at the fact that they could actually make money at an event and somebody lets them sell as an attendee. So that's a really cool thing that I love to do. Um, all right, then uh, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. Erin says, um, oh, thank you, Erin. She says, Katrina is the most amazing coach, so giving her time and energy and so knowledgeable and supportive, I absolutely love having her as my coach. Thank you. Hi, John. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Sue. And Erin, um, I've gotten several clients from your events. Yes, true. Uh, so the, um, lost my train of thought. I don't know, I just wanna help you. I'm just so passionate, I can't stand it. And if you wanna have a call with me, I, I, I'm gonna be in LA next week at the uh, Coaches, what is it, Speakers, Authors, and Coaches Conference. I'm speaking there, uh, if you're in Jake Valentine's group here, the Coaches, Authors, and Speakers Network. Uh, there's a conference, three-day conference um, in LA, and I'm one of the speakers, along with uh, Jake and Tony Waitley and a few other people. And so that's gonna be super fun. I'm also attending a mastermind that I belong to, okay? So I still go and travel for masterminds. Um, I'm gonna be holding a couple of retreats this year. Uh, so you just wanna get on my email list and then open the email <laughs> the emails when they come uh, and make sure you're taking advantage and paying attention because I give deals, I give great tips in there, um, and oh, and I'm also gonna be launching, probably, um, I'm toying with the idea, and I would love your feedback on the, if you're interested in this, um, is a, maybe like a $10 a month membership. So am I gonna take some of the content that I've been just spreading like wildfire all over social media and my blog and everything, and maybe put it into more of a, a membership to where you get this content if you pay me like 10 bucks a month. And it's not about the 10 bucks a month, it's about the skin in the game. It's not about, like, I don't need $10 a month. But it is an actually an interesting business model if you think about it, and I'm actually um, suggesting it to a few clients this year, because if you have a five or $10 membership program that you're running with your own content, however you're delivering, now no one-on-one -on -one with that, okay? You can't offer one-on-one -on -one at that level. But if you had a, a low end, people are less likely to unsubscribe and cancel a five or $10 a month membership. 
but they're more likely to cancel if times are tough, a 40 or 50 or $100 a month membership, right? Think about your own experience. Like, do you ever, you know, if it's something that you use or will use for five or 10 bucks a month, um, are you really gonna cancel, right, when you know you can have access anytime? So I'm toying with the idea of something like that. If you are interested in that, um, put the word membership or $5 in the comments, and I would love to, um, I'm really toying with that idea. The problem though is, as you can tell with, with my video today, is I have all these ideas, probably just like you, right? We have all these ideas. Now we can't implement all of them at the same time. Please hear me when I say that that even if you have seven great ideas this year, we can't do them all in January or February, right? We have to spread them out. You have to be patient. That is not a good quality. I don't have a, good, a lot of patience, um, if, in case you can't tell. <laughs> At least not with myself, right? So, but you have to be strategic with the things that you're launching and implementing because it, it, they will fall flat if you don't have a good ramp up and a good launch to certain programs, products, and services this time. So I remember what I was saying now. So the different ways that you can get clients, the things that are really should be on your radar for 2019, number one is speaking. You have got to be speaking more. I don't care if it's on a Facebook Live, a YouTube video, a Zoom video with 10 people or four people or 400 people, or it's in person at events or doing your own events or just going to somewhere where you can give a commercial about what you do and what you have to offer. It's speaking. All of that is speaking. If you are not good with the speaking, know what to say when you're speaking and know how to monetize from any of those examples of speaking, then you, I, I let, you got to let me get my hands on your business because I want to show you how. I want to show you how to do that faster. Why would you want to go six months of doing a bunch of things like that and not monetizing it? right? That would be silly. That would be silly to go months and months and months without really getting these things in place. So speaking is the number one fastest path to cash and getting clients, period. All kinds of speaking. And we just need a plan of what you're going to do. There's probably a dozen different ways that you could potentially speak to get clients, all right? But many of you are just doing one, maybe two of them, and you're not maximizing everything when most of it is free. Most of this is a free marketing strategy, okay? Some of it might be an investment if you're gonna run a live event, but there, most of it is free. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at your checkbook too. I want you to do the most affordable way possible to build your business, trust me. Um, okay, and then beyond that, it's the positioning of yourself. This is not like a tactical strategy, but it's the foundational setup of your business and yourself. If you are not in, if you build your own website and it looks like you build your own website, you're not getting a lot of clients this year. I'm sorry, but you got to stop that kind of stuff. You got to stop that craziness of doing things yourself. Then you're not good at it when you're not good at it. Okay. Stop designing your own flyers and postcards if you're not good at it. Okay. Um, you got to position yourself as the expert. That includes a professional looking appearance in places. So your, your look and feel of your website, your marketing materials. It doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money there. Okay. The most affor affordable way possible, please. But professional. Okay. P professional positioning. Also the wording that you're using, the messaging that you're using to make sure that you are elevated as an expert not um, someone who's needy or um, insecure. You've gotta watch the wording. And sometimes we don't know that we have bad wording unless somebody actually takes a look at it and gives you feedback. And I love to do that um, in a good way, obviously, in a, in a nice loving way. <laughs> um, then beyond that, in addition to positioning, it could be your image, okay? A lot of times I go to events or I'll even come to calls like this and even if it's a mastermind call with my peers, people will show up in their bathrobe um, with, their, with their hair in a bun or something. I'm like, really? This is the first impression you want to make? Because what if I'm your prospect? I'm like, I don't think I'm going to buy from you when you show up to a professional call like this in your bathrobe with your hair up and no makeup on. I mean, there's something to be said about being ready to go, like having that image, right? And then offline in person, you show up to an event, if you're not a fitness trainer, please don't wear tennis shoes to a networking event or a conference. I'm like, just, 
I, I have feet problems too, you guys, and I have to wear flats pretty much the, all the time. I haven't worn heels in probably five years, okay? And it pains me to say that because I love wearing heels and feeling pretty and girly and all that, but it hurts the heck out of my feet. So I have to find professional yet sexy, which is really difficult, uh, comfortable flat shoes, okay? And that still look nice with the clothes that I want to wear. And so you can do that. You can do that. You just have to keep looking. And yes, sometimes you have to pay $80 for a pair of shoes instead of $20 at the discount store. But you got to do what you got to do to position position yourself in your image, your how you're presenting yourself, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you have to spend thousands of dollars on your wardrobe. You just have to look the part. You have to be the part. I have people that I meet that are Mary Kay reps but don't wear stitch makeup. Well, what the heck are you doing? Make sure you know how to put your makeup on, for God's sakes, and do your hair. If you're selling makeup and beauty, right? Look beauty. <laughs> okay, and then the, the other thing about positioning is what, how do we know you're a credible expert? Do, is there testimonials? Are you, do you have videos with other people? Do you have photos of you and celebrities? Do you have endorsements? Do you have books? Okay, do you have at least one book? You need to get published. You need to become an expert in, in a book, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it anymore. I spent six grand on my first book. Thank God I'm not doing that again, right? I know how to churn books a lot less expensively these, these days and get published uh, for a lot less money. So it looks like I, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of books, right? Why did, and then in your videos, for God's sakes, I'm on calls sometimes on these Zoom calls. Oh, and I probably have to go, let me see if I have a call. I'm so excited. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you. I have a couple more minutes. Okay. I get on these Zoom calls and I'm literally sometimes the only person out of 30 or 40 people on the Zoom call where you can see everybody that has a professional background in their video. What are you doing? Right? Get a professional looking marketing oriented background. Now, if you're someone who maybe is a fitness trainer or someone, I have a, a friend who uh, teaches people about um, anxiety and stress. Well, she doesn't want a lot going on in her background. I get that. So a more zen background might be good, okay? But you could maybe put a clear little logo or something and then a plant, okay? <laughs> or a book and a plant or something like that. But think about your background, your image, online and offline. It is huge, you guys. It will make or break someone's decision to hire you, period, because they're checking you out. I have people that will finally come to a call with me, and they'll say, well, I've been watching you for about a year and a half. And I'm like, really? Wow, you haven't even reached out or said hi or sent an email or a message or said boo. You know, I haven't even noticed that you were there. And they're like, I know, I've just been watching you, right? People will watch you. And then when they feel like you're someone they can trust and they like your personality and they believe and trust that you can help them with their problem, they will be ready to sign up like that, right, with you. So there's a lot to do with positioning yourself as the expert. And that, yes, you can do that along the way and, and keep evolving it, of course, but don't go trying to hurry up and get out there without some level of expert positioning of yourself first in the foundational setup of your business. And sometimes I work with people that have been in business for 10 or 20 years and we need to revamp, re revamp their whole, their whole brand or positioning or website or, or their team. And, and there's just a lot, a lot of things to think about. Okay. So speaking, getting clients, uh, in-person networking, I'm finding that I can uh, get a lot of great connections from these multiple Zoom calls. So if you are in membership programs, I'm in a couple where we do a monthly um, Zoom call where there's 30 or 40 people and it's like a networking event where you can talk to each other and say your commercial and you can message each other on the chat. And honestly, I'm getting some clients from that. Okay, and it's a really great way and free, mind you, other than the membership program of the the organization itself. But it's it, you don't have to go anywhere. So if you're not spending your time in the places where you're seeing results and clients, then we need to figure out where to spend your time and your and your money if you're if you're investing in things because it could be time that you need to revamp it and re up for things that you're doing. And there's been no people. This is a lot of people coming today. Yay. 
Let's see, we have Don, Happy New Year, Kimberly, Jennifer. I haven't seen you in a long time, Jennifer. Colleen, I'm enjoying your latest compilation book. Yay, thank you. And you're coming to Love and Money Live. Uh, Francis Faden, yay, thanks for coming, you guys. Um, so speaking, positioning, getting to be an author of some sort, looking at your web presence, you guys, and all your social media. And then it's how are you communicating with social media? So many people are being too salesy. Some people are not being salesy enough. Some people are just kind of hiding out or very sporadic and not consistent. And none of that is working. <laughs> so none of that is important. Like it's, it's a whole different strategy and a whole different ball game these days. Um, and let's talk about your comfort zone too, because a lot of times, oh, I don't want to do this because I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. I'll do that next year. Really? You want to wait for more success. Okay. You want to wait for more money. So why isn't now a good time to get just a little uncomfortable when like someone like me can show you how to do it, what to say, what to send, the technology to use, and even step by step on how to use it to get you out of uncomfortableness, right? So that you can actually implement a specific strategy or task. Why can't you just let it go that you're uncomfortable and learn how instead of saying, oh, I'm uncomfortable, I don't wanna do that, or I don't like that, or whatever. Instead of saying that negative crap, say, well, how can I embrace this this year? What do I need to know to embrace this and make this a viable marketing and business strategy for me this year? I know I need to get outside my comfort zone. What do I need to learn? What do I need to do to make it happen and effective for me, right? And it's just reframing what you're telling yourself and what you're saying out loud. If you wanna still get the same old results, then keep saying the same old crap to yourself. If you wanna see different results and a lot more money and a lot less stress, then you're gonna have to change it up. I'm telling you, I don't know any client, including myself, any friend, who isn't gonna have to change some things in our marketing this year. It's just the wave of the future and it's, it's, it's destined. So, all right. <sighs> I think I'm done for today. <laughs> this was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope those of you that stuck around or, or watching all the way through um, got a lot out of this. Please let me know if you're interested in the membership, the author program, the speaker training, the marketing training, any of the live events, um, the compilation book. Um, I'm not here just to sell you, that's not my point, but I have so much going on that you can take advantage of there has to be a way to share that, right? So if you're interested, take action. If you're interested, come talk to me. If you're not interested right now, that's fine. If you know somebody and wanna share this, please share it. You know, I'm happy to share some of your stuff if you share this video out. Cause I think every entrepreneur needs to hear this message today, frankly. And um, the website is jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am here to help you. Again, I'm in LA next week, so I don't have a lot of time to put calls on the calendar until like January 28th, until that week. So, but if you're interested, I can pre-schedule that week or the following week. It's not gonna be adding you a calendar tomorrow. I don't have time tomorrow. I don't have time till, like I said, January 28th. So if you're interested in any of this, you need to tell me now so we can book it one or two or three weeks from now to talk about it, okay? And I, I'll get you in as soon as I can, but I, and I want to serve and help everybody as best I can, but that's, that's the best I can do with my schedule. Okay. So thank you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and please, please, please think about what I'm saying and, and what you need to do and start embracing, you know, uh, getting some support and asking for help because we all need it. We all do, we all have to have help, okay? Even the big gurus have help. So it's okay to need help and uh, it's okay to ask for it. The, what's the worst possible scenario? Someone tells you no. Oh well, move on, <laughs> right? Okay guys, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.